In this lesson, we will start coding. One of the main concepts in programming is variables and we will deal with them all the time primarily to store information. Let's say we have a variable x and want to assign it a value of 2. We can do that by typing x equals 2. In the current format, this is just a line of text and to make sure that the computer understands that x is a variable, we must execute it. To do that, press shift and enter, not just enter, and a variable called x will be created and assigned a value of 2. To test if the computer really created a variable x and assigned it a value of 2, write x and then again press shift and enter and the output is 2. An alternate way to call the value of x would be to use the print command. It complements the logical flow of your code. If we say print x and press shift and enter, the machine will execute this command and provide the value of x as a statement rather than with the out header. When using print command, make sure you place the name of the variable within parentheses. What if I type capital X? In this case, when we execute this command, we'll get an error. Hence, Python is case sensitive. Rather than writing two separate lines of code for creating two different variables, you can assign a certain number of values to the same number of variables by writing just one line of code. Let's see how we can do that. Suppose we have to assign two values, say 3 and 4, to two variables y and z. We must separate each of the variables and each of the values with a comma. Now if I call y or z separately, the computer will correctly give me their respective values. Please make sure that the number of variables on that line equals to the number of values. Otherwise, you will get an error message. So far, we have assigned integers to variables. Recall, integers are positive or negative whole numbers without a decimal point. We can use type function to find the type of the value assigned to any variable. For instance, if we want to find the type of value assigned to variable z, we can write type z and press shift plus enter and the result we obtain indicates that the value of z is an integer. The type function can also be applied directly to a value. If I write type open parentheses minus 100 close parentheses, Python will correctly point out that minus 100 is an integer. Another type of numerical value that can be assigned to a variable is a float. A float takes a numerical value with a decimal point. Let's assign a value of 2.25 to a new variable y. Use the type function again. This is a float. Let's look at a couple of additional built-in functions. int transforms the variable into an integer, so int y will transform 2.25 into 2. On the other hand, float adds a decimal point to the integer value. So far, we have only looked at numerical values, but not all inputs need to be numerical values. An example of such type of values is the Boolean type. This means a true or false value. Let's provide an example. Let's create a new variable a, which is equal to false. The output of type function is bool, which simply means that a is a Boolean type variable. Note that you should type true or false with capital letters. Otherwise, Python won't recognize your variable as a Boolean type and will display an error message. In addition to Boolean type inputs, we can also have a string of text values as an input for any variable. To do that, you need to include the input text in a single or double quotation marks. This is how Python displays text results if you don't use the print command. With the print command, the output will be shown with no quotes. Similar to int and float, we can use str to convert a number to text. If we want to print 5 days, then we can combine z, that is an integer variable with the value of 5, and days using str and plus symbol. Let's see how we deal with the apostrophe in the English syntax. The apostrophe technically coincides with the single quotes and hence we can put the text in double quotes. Alternatively, we can place a backslash before the apostrophe within the phrase. 
This backslash is called an escape character as it changes the interpretation of the character immediately following it. Another way to create two words can be using a trailing comma. Print good and then I will put a comma and Python will print the next word morning on the same line separating the two word with a blank space in between. What will happen if I don't use print command and just list a few integers, floats and strings separating them with commas? Python will execute the command as expected but will place the values within parentheses. Well, we have made excellent progress and you have learned a lot about Python syntax. It looks simple and easy, but it is actually important to understand the syntax before jumping into coding.